please stay on the line. Um, what I want to report is that, um, as I said before, they want to attack Alaba International Market in Lagos with the help of Bola Med Tinubu. They want to attack Alaba International Market and burn it down. They want to attack it. I'm warning now, not tomorrow. Now they say hey, it's ESN. ESN came to Lagos. Tinubu will use all his media contacts, all his Yoruba newspapers to be writing rubbish. I want to warn our people in Lagos to be on the alert, to be very vigilant because they are coming to burn Alaba Electronics Market. Wait. And uh, they say the man is giving ultimatum. I'm asking uh, people uh, if you are part of a non government, if you are this, come and bring that. Because our family in a boy state is in very serious trouble, IPB family there. Because they have fallen for for mammon. I think that's what they call it. Is it mammon? They call it the avarice, the, 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 the demon of, um, of, of ill gotten wealth. A boy state, IPOB family. Ebony State IPOB family. Ebony State IPOB. How many times have I called you now? Be very, very careful. Dave Omahi is walking about with money, giving some of you bags of money to bring IPOB family members and our volunteers to go and join a bag. If you join a bag, you are going to die eventually. I just want you to understand that very, very clearly you will die, you will perish. You are under oath. You will die eventually. If you join in that head and you're going to die. That is, that is for sure. Therefore, man, he brought out money and be giving to all of distributing money every carelessly everywhere. Money he got from Islamic Bank. That was why they allowed the idiots to go to, to, to their users as a rock, flanked by Femi Additional, talking rubbish. Therefore, man, he will destroy a boy state. We have recovered a boy instead from Mietiala. It seems you idiots want to go back to the era of Mietiala ruling you people. Don't allow me to place a curse upon you. IPOB family in a boy state must sit up. I mean, this morning. I identify anybody who talks to Dave or Mahi must be identified immediately and dealt with. They brought their money that distributing some of you are even contemplating going to join the bag as if you're mad. After eating that money, then what happens to you? You idiots, what will happen to you? And I must make it very, very clear because of what is now happening in a boy state, having succeeded in chasing away Miyeti Allah, they have given a lot of money to Devil Mahi to distribute to some of you idiots. So that Fulani can come back and recolonize the Boeing state. Because of that, we are now dividing a boy into three command structures in a Boeing state. Eastern Security Network in a Boeing state will now it will no longer be headed by one person. We are going to have three commanders, their names nobody will know. To avoid contamination. And this women, a boy will have three commanders. Imo State will have three commanders. Not one overall commander. I'm announcing it on air so that they will hear. People on the ground will hear me. Ebony State will have three commanders on the ground. Imo State, three commanders on the ground. Iguacha, three commanders on the ground. They are the only states that will have three commanders. All other states still have only one commander. All these other states I've mentioned, Ebony, Imo, and Iguacha, which is River State, three, three commanders each. And they're independent of one another. But under one central command. So you understand it very clearly. We cannot, we, we, we are so, we are too educated to allow these fools to penetrate us. It's not going to happen. And I must warn every coordinator in all of these states that I've just mentioned. Our coordinator of that very state, I am watching all of you. If anything goes wrong with our family in that state, I will hold you personally responsible. You must understand that this is IPUB. You must understand this this very morning. Look at it. So, so uh, Dave Omahi is, is smarter than we are. Is that what you're telling me? That X419, he, he, he had no living. He made a living by stealing from people. He's a scammer. He's a, he's, he, he will sit down above his laptop and be, and be doing what you with white people. That is the idiot that is in the police state trying to convince you not to 
pursue your freedom. Chile Cameroon, Albert. Dara. The coordinator of Ebony State, Imo State, and Igbo Watcher should be very, very careful. IPOB was ordained by heaven itself, not man. Do not mix with politicians. I say do not. It's an order, a direct order from me, live on air. Live on air. Do not. I repeat, do not. We are live and we are direct and the whole world is bearing us witness. The whole world is bearing us witness. I'm going to now open the line. But before that, you know that uh, Governor Autumn has asked the Benue people to defend themselves. And the killings of um, people there is still going on unabated. Nothing is stopping them. And they are coming down to the south. As I've warned you before, they are here there and I'm back to write it down on a piece of paper. They are coming down south. We have to wait for the real army. The real army is coming. This one they are using now in Imo State, uh, who opposed or don't is the smoke screen. I understand that one idiot, I don't want to mention the, the buffoon's name, is uh, talking about uh, people should come out that they have secured. He said, now I will come out in Imo State now. Come out, you know what? On Monday, take a walk. Come out, let us see. You have yourself to blame. Everywhere is on a lockdown. Every road closed. I want every road to be closed. Go into the, all the young people in every village. Go to the bush. Cut down trees, big ones. Block every road. Then we trap any vehicle stupid enough. We'll be trapped inside the trick upon their Hong Kong. Then go the driver and the passengers. Go to punish all of you. No movement, I said. No aircraft. Go if you know air peace. If you know any aircraft operator, tell them no flight is coming into Owere. No flight into Enugu. No flight into Asaba. That's what I said. No flight should come in. None whatsoever should come in. For their information, no flight should come in. I understand people that work in the oil sector may want to fly into water. That is their prerogative. We don't want to stop them. They are doing vital economic work, believe it or not. But in the core areas I've just mentioned, no flights should come in. I said no flights should come in. And no movement on the road. I want all the young people everywhere across all of Biafra land, from Bakasi all the way to Gurumigur, block every road. I want every major road blocked. Blocked. No movement anywhere. Uh, there will be one idiot that they will say, ah, uh, we have a gun and nothing is happening. Let's go out. Then your family will bury you. 